Eh. Oh. Hello guys, welcome back to another new role video and today I want to show you my updated Rapier Spear build that I've been running in new road. I was finally able to get to 60, also get my weapons level 20 so I'm able to pretty much spend the, the points on all the talents that I wanted to use in this particular updated build, as you can see I got rid of repose sometimes I feel like it was a wasted skill because uh, either the the target will dodge it, or or I was not able to land the repose, and then basically that's damage opportunity lost there. So I wanted to have a more aggressive build when I'm engaging someone, instead of relying or waiting for a repose to land to be able to do some damage. As you know, the floor and finish causes staggers, so that's also kind of like a, I would say offensive uh, CC compared to repulse which is a more a defensive uh, now for the skills here let's start with the rapier of course which is the main star of this build uh, as you can see and when some on some of the points on grace and some of the points in blood I'm gonna explain what I have with this uh, this set specifically now since most of these skills do have low cooldowns uh, for the most part, I definitely wanted to have momentum in this build because it's easy 25% increased damage on any uh, light or heavy attack after performing uh, an ability. So I definitely love the skills. I feel like it's more, you get more damage for uh, per time compared to Bloody End, which only applies to the. Uh, finish of the Florian finish in as you know you know I always land that skill so I, I already have momentum which is always 25% which is slightly less than having um, bloody end but at the same time I can use on any skill that I perform as you know the evade is very spammable skill which is by default is 5.1 seconds cooldown but when you spec into it you have 30% reduction uh, every time you hit and also you have red curtains with critical scar reduced all the cooldown by 5% and also you have refreshing strike which reduces all the cooldown by 1% on any hit so it becomes pretty much like a 2 roughly average 3 second skill so with that we include that 25% that is applied when you uh, spam any skill uh, I, I had to grab all of the talents here, like Desperation, where you deal more damage with your stamina is below 40%, which, which kind of comes uh, clutch sometimes because I'm dodging a lot, uh, because I use light, uh, light armor, so sometimes I'm probably below that range and uh, I have that extra percent damage, but I'm able to regain that stamina very quickly when spamming evade. Uh, especially when I'm trying to block something, you know, is that if you block a heavy, sometimes you you might even get the stagger because you were kind of low, or it definitely you take a, a huge blow on the stamina bar when you're trying to block a heavy, right? Uh, so I'm able to rec uh, recuperate very quickly using this skill. Uh, you also have deal 10% uh, more damage when your health is full, which is not really that. Uh, I would say really good because you always getting damage anyways uh, Especially when you're doing a lot of solo stuff or if you have a healer. Yeah, cool uh, I think it, this is more a PvE oriented talent honestly uh, But I had to spend into it in order to get enough points to get my momentum now I also has swiftness which makes you a little uh, It's give you up to 50% uh, skill hits uh, because it's stacked five, uh, five times for three uh, percent, and then of course I have the moment. As you know, Thunder you can able you are able to stack it three times, 
it's it has a fairly fa uh, a fairly fast cooldown as well and you know counting all the other cooldown reduction perks that you have in this build you should be able to spend these a little bit more now i went all all the way down to the tree to get you know uh some cooldown reduction here and there with thirst for blood and also and again and here this this can come clutch sometimes with somebody who wants to run away like i said this skill is very spammable so sometimes when you, you're trying to get that person that you know is gonna either take a pot or eat some food sometimes you know that extra 100 percent would definitely cause some damage uh and screw the person that is trying to recuperate from the damage uh, from any source of healing here I have to choose between this one and this one this, they are too good to uh, miss out so uh, with the points left I had to put refreshing strike to reduce all the cooldowns by 1% on hit and also I have in guard which is deal 10% damage when your target has greater than 50% health which is very really nice damage there especially if you move with certain gems uh, stack with this as well then you have further finish, okay, in which perform an attack, nothing back the enemies. Pressing line attack at the end of the floor will continue this ability by automatically performing a finish. Finish long this forward, consuming all repeat bleed on any target, dealing 100%, 110% on of their damage immediately. It is a very cool ability because longitude forward gives you that kind of flesh effect, if you want to call it like that, uh, to reach out when somebody's trying to run. I can also use this ability as well when you want to launch forward. The, the launch forward is, cons I will say that it's decently, uh, it gives you this de uh, decent distance when you uh, use the uh, skill. And then I wanted to put a uh, grid on this uh, ability so I don't get any type of uh, to see why doing it. Um, now, I didn't want all the way down i feel like for example this the swagger is not really that good in my opinion uh because it's just relying on the finish and again guys some, if somebody's moving too much most likely you're gonna miss that finish so uh i'm very good with the finish because i've been using it for a long time but it is it, it when it comes to like hitting it it's not really that easy it's not guaranteed uh guaranteed hit Especially, like I said, if the person's moving around and he has like light armor, uh, most likely you're gonna uh, miss that finish. So, I'm not really a fan of this. Um, now, this one might be a little hard, uh, like a hard to, you know, I would like to have this talent, but at the same time, like, I had to like get some of these points off in order to gain this. Uh, and, and it was not just possible so uh, I only was able to maybe sacrifice this point in order to get this one uh, or maybe one of these to get this one I don't think it's worth it honestly so I prefer to have just the grit uh, like I said I'm not very fan of the bloody end because it's only applied to this skill specifically I already have momentum which is far greater talent when it goes to the repair because it's just easy 25% most of the uh, skills in this uh, weapon are low cooldown anyway, so having that 25% uh, for me is a must. Alright, then we have the spear, of course. Uh, this is how I have it set up. Uh, of course, in order to have that double bleed, you have to go with skewer. Skewer is a fantastic uh, skill, not for the fact that it deals decent amount of damage. Uh, and also applies uh, bleed, which is one of the strongest in the game. Uh, and stack with stun though, so uh, that's that. I went down here to get more damage as full health, uh, and then here to get empower on quick hits, which is 20% damage uh, on, for 10 seconds. I think this is one of the talents that has uh, longer, uh, the longest duration when it comes to getting empower. Usually, uh, all the weapons give you like five seconds or three seconds, which I don't think is that much. Uh, but this one's definitely is is you create you're gonna have that 10 second with uh, a bunch of damage there uh, Of course, I want to get that duration off to five more seconds Because this can definitely sometimes help you when somebody's trying to run really low uh, Really low health sometimes they just die from the bleed especially if I have a uh, stack with Tondo. then I have here uh, exposed wounds to get critical chance 
on target that had bleed of course so in order to get that empowerment i think it synergizes very well with it now one of my favorite talents here ball kick is pog it vows you keep uh, kicking the target dealing 75 percent weapon damage but apply stuns when you do it right and this is basically i would say like the offensive repose uh pretty much and not only that this is one of the few talents in the game where the perks kind of like really help the skill and promote you to use it a bit more compared to other ones that i really not fan of i think it needs total rework aka fletch so here when you do the the skill you gain power after successful hit on targets below 50 uh 50 health increase your damage by 20% for 5 seconds. So you have two sources of getting empowerment, which is gonna be your ball kick when the target is below 50%, and also uh, when you crit as well. So both grant you 20% here. And then you have, of course, it reduces your cooldown for audio speed ability by 30% on successful hit. Alright, this is basically like the repose. That's why repose, having a repose and this one. If you don't feel comfortable uh, using all uh, offensive skills in Rapier, it definitely, definitely helps you to get your other abilities back if you land them because it's just it's just too good. I think it reposes is 25%. I cannot remember. Let me double check that. 20%. Which is still it's, it's still this uh, it's still it's still good. Anyways, now on the left I went with uh, I had to spec almost well all the points here in order to get gain that reserve strength which is 25% damage while stamina is full since you basically only applying fuse the buff is on the target I don't think it's really worth having this if anything you're gonna get a maximum amount maybe 20% damage I think this is more PvE time where there's other sources of of the buffs uh, that they are applied to the target so you're able to uh, benefit from all that max 30% uh, but you know probably this build is not with this build you will not uh get that 30 percent max so i rather go with refresh strength which i'm always i was full when i'm using spear because i usually change when i watch i want to either cc the target or finish them off not necessarily dodging around for the skill here i have sweep which uh, uh knocks them down causes 75 percent weapon damage uh, now I went with the grit only and not coop the grace coop the grace in PvP could be atrocious uh, Definitely can get you killed and most people can just dodge it while they're on the ground So from my experience, this is not a very good talent to have because this can cause you the battle sometimes because maybe you accidentally click that by being in pressure and that animation is definitely gonna get you killed when you're doing uh, more than one person uh, for the fact that again it can be dodgeable and also most of the time against good players you will miss it anyway so it's not really good to have so i already spent all the other points in the rest of the street to gain stamina around uh on critical hits and also a uh, region faster when it's on the 30 percent uh, Kudo reduction on heavy attacks. I, I'm very fan of doing heavy attacks with spear uh, For the fact that the thrust damage is a lot and also it has a good reach when it's fully charged uh, And also you get fortified by doing by doing so so you get also more damage when knocking them down Which will probably synergize by having this instead of in uh, skewer But for the time being, this is how it set it up to get those uh, the, the points that will be enable me to get the the last talent here all right so that's as far as uh talents go let's go over gear uh the gears i have all faction gear of course dexterity constitution with some diamond gems now you can put uh some onyx gems currently they're bugged so the onyx would definitely give you all all, all kind of damage not just physical damage but i really don't like relying on bug things to be honest that the, the resilience is still bug as well so adding bug after bug i'm not really a fan of that i'm not that kind of player that relying on bugs in order to uh gain an advantage i like to play as fair as possible 
So resilience is something that I have no control of. So it's on the gear ready. Uh, so if you pair that with Onyx, you're basically gonna be so spongy even with light armor. So that's why I decided to go with Diamond Gen instead. Uh, so yeah, I have all function gear. I only have one medium chest to gain that maximum uh, light, uh, light armor bar. Uh, we don't get it into the medium territory. Uh, now I have here the ball crystal you, you can get in Brightwood. It, it's a fantastic uh, legendary and it gives you that refreshing which I love. I, anything that is cool that reduction in PvP for me, I'm a fan. Uh, the only thing that I don't like is uh, the gem but I cannot change that. Uh, I have this random gem here, I, I don't think it's the best. This is what I have for the time being until I get something better. And then I have my uh, Erin here, which is another lane that you can farm in Elder Grove. A definitely one of the best in stuff, in my opinion, for PvP. I don't think there's something better in terms of traits. And the best thing is that you can change the gem as well. So I put an Onyx because I just had it on the on the on the character. I didn't I didn't feel like spending more money in gems, so I just slap it in there. And then of course I have here. Uh, uh, the rapier, which is another random stuff that I just got, does that not really the best weapon? I didn't feel like grinding the fifty, uh, the fifty thousand gear uh, from the faction, so I'm just gonna wait until I have better drops uh, in the open world, like uh, watermarking or something like that. Uh, so for the time being, this is what I have. I had the onyx as well because I have a bunch of onyx again. Uh, for the rapier, it's good because it it does synergizes with one of the talents that. Uh, gives you 10% of full health. Here, I would like to get the opposite when the target is really low on health. Because usually, when I switch to the with the with a spear, usually the 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 target is already, I would say, below 50%. So I'm able to pretty much do more damage as as their uh, health goes down. I think it's, it's, it's I, I'm gonna change at some point, but when I get the, the next weapon. And for the attributes, I uh, still have a bunch of um, dexterity, of course, because it scales with the spear and repair. And I think it's the best, that's the best one to spec into. Uh, and then I have uh, almost 150 constitution. Um, this can definitely go up with food and everything. So since I play solo most of the time, that's how I have this amount of constitution. Uh, I can definitely drop this off for one uh, hundred. Just keep it a hundred. But since I'm always solo, uh, doing open world PvP, sometimes you get into those one uh, one vx situation where you definitely need the health more than damage. Uh, and I'm almost maxed out in dexterity, so I still have a, a decent amount of damage, anyways. That's that. So you, when you're using food, you can either use uh, Constitution food if you feel like. Maybe you survive ability because you have light armor. You need a, you need a little bit more health, or if you need more damage and use the dexterity food. So you can just play in between those two attributes. So very straightforward on that. Uh, yeah, guys, this is the build I'm using so far. Um, give a thumbs a thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you didn't like it. Leave me uh, if you have any question. Leave it on the section below, or if you have any suggestion, I'm more than welcome to uh, uh, listen. And I'm very open to criticism as well. Uh, as well, there's a lot of stuff going on with the game where it has a uh, couple bugs here and there. So until that's fixed, I don't want to go into deep uh, theory crafting because you know that can definitely affect numbers and all that stuff. So I'm not not really gonna deal with that at the moment. So when it's fixed, then I'll do a proper theory crafting in in how to like mix things here and there. Uh, so yeah, guys, this is my updated build. I hope you enjoy. See you next video. Peace.